Okay, forget the laptop, I'm on the iPad. Now I know why I never use the laptop to go live. Um, so, what we were talking about. Time management. And this is the reason why this topic came to mind for me to do this call with you guys is because I've had to do a lot of rearranging, looking at my calendar, a lot of time management, seeing where there's wasted time where I could be doing other things. Um, so I am doing real estate a little bit more than I was before. Um, I work a part, uh, well, I don't want to even call it a part-time job. I mean, I guess you call it a part-time job. The hours are kind of all over the place. It's not like a Monday through Friday. Uh, nine to five type job. It's at a salon. So there's some days I'm working Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. There's some days that, you know, I don't work the weekend. We work every other weekend. So it's kind of an all over the place type schedule, which makes it difficult for someone like me that is very about a schedule because every week is different for me. So some days I have to do my workouts really early. Some days I have to do them in the evening. So I'm doing time management with my workouts, with my beach body business, with my real estate business, with my job, with my family, um, <clears throat> and then a business endeavor that kind of fell in my lap that I've been starting. So I have a lot on my plate and I would not be able to get it done without having time management. It is extremely, extremely important, you guys to be on point with your time management, seeing where you can spend less time, work smarter, not harder. So um, when I was first taking this job, I was a little worried and stressed because um, I had goals with my Beachbody business, but it's been, I've had the same goals for a while now and they weren't really, I wasn't reaching them and it was hard for me to let go of that goal, but I had to kind of have a little bit of a wake-up call that sometimes things aren't always going to work out the way that we have them planned and if financially things aren't working right I have to find something else to make it work so hence the reason I started the job it's stressful um, you know there's days where things come up like originally I wasn't working today now I'm going in at one o'clock um, so I got to do this call have my lunch, clean up the kitchen, and then go to work. I don't come home till probably 7.30 tonight. So, you know, I gotta pack my food and get all that stuff situated. Um, so I have to really be organized and really be on point with time management. So if it's things in your life that you truly, truly want, I promise you, you will find the time to do it. Um, that is something that I've learned over the last month being at this job that um, you know, if there's things you really want, you'll find a way to push. I have dialed back how much I'm working in my beach body business. Um, over the last month, it has alleviated a lot of stress for me. So instead of doing 30 invites every day, I'm doing 10 every day. So like today, so far, I was not able to get my invites in yet. So I can maybe take a moment when I'm eating my dinner later tonight or when I get home before bed and just bang out those 10 invites really quick. I might even be able to do it while I'm eating my lunch. Um, but I make sure I get those 10 invites in every day. It's just the way that I had to dial back my business. So I am still doing my beach party business. I am still reaching out to people. I still believe in the product. <clears throat> I'm just doing it on a different scale. And that's something that I had to figure out with time management, what was gonna work. When there's days that I don't work, I do a little more than 10, um, you know, to make sure I reach more people. But I usually do a minimum of 10 now instead of 30. It's been working for me. It's been helping a lot with time management um, and me being able to get everything done. Um, so I just wanted to talk about this topic because it's extremely important for you guys to have a schedule, for you guys to really be able to you're gonna have to self-judge with what you're using your time. Are you watching a lot of TV time at night? Maybe make that your reward after you do five or 10 invites. I mean, you, I banged out 10 invites and did my whole Team Z the other day in like 40 minutes. So maybe you could take a little time, do a little bit of your beach body work. It doesn't have to be a crazy amount of time. It doesn't have to be um, super long. Just get a little bit done and then make TV a reward. Are you maybe wasting time scrolling on social media? Are you wasting time in Insta stories? Like anything like that that you might be wasting some time in, 
you might want to reevaluate and really self-judge. Be honest with yourself and where you're wasting your time. Today, I caught myself wasting time in Instagram stories. And then there were some Instagram stories I haven't watched in a while, and I haven't seen that some of those people's posts. So I went onto their wall or their page and started looking at their posts that I hadn't seen. So I found myself wasting time. Um, so I stopped doing that and went back into what I needed to get accomplished for real estate. <clears throat> so it happens. We're not all perfect with time management, but it is something that we all need to focus on. So, um, hi Paula. So we need to make sure that you have some sort of a, a schedule. And the best way to make a schedule is to just throughout the day, when you're getting ready to do something, like say you're getting ready to work and you work nine to five, right? 9 a.m. to, I don't know, 12, because you have a lunch break and write work. 12 to one, lunch, one to five, work. And write down everything you do throughout the day and really see and reflect, really see and reflect what you're spending your time on. Um, I had to do that and when I did, I was like, oh crap, I'm spending a lot of time scrolling social media. So that's where I had to make that my reward. When I was done getting all the important things done, when I was done getting my power hour done, when I was done getting my real estate work done, whatever it was that I was doing at that time, my reward would be to scroll social media and chat with people. So maybe you could do that. Maybe you could write down, you know, first you have to have your eyes open to what you're spending your time on. And the best way to do that is write it down as you're doing it. Then, you can reflect and you can be honest with yourself and be like, okay, I'm spending too much time doing this, let me try this. Um, and then once you've made that list and once you realize where your wasted time is, that's when you can see, okay, I am wasting an hour on my lunch break scrolling social media. How about I take that hour where I'm eating and I do my beach body work? Then I could scroll my social media later on in the day or that evening because I've already done my work. So you just gotta rearrange and it's based off of priority you know, and, and what's most important to you and what you really want to get accomplished. It's the same thing with being on a journey. If it's important to you to be on track with your nutrition, if it's important with, to you to be on track with your workouts, you're going to figure out where your wasted time is to where you can utilize that time for something that you're, it's more important to you. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, I know not many of you are on live, so when you get on the replay, please write replay and then write your comments and let me know what you think. Um, and if you have any questions, just comment them below and I'll respond to them when I get home from work. I hope you guys have a great day.